Today, we are excited to bring to you a clip from one of our empowerment calls. And we love to like pull back the veil and be able for you guys to see what we do and how we do it. Cause sometimes it can be hard to be like, I don't, I don't think I need that. I don't, I, I, what would I even talk about? But to be able to hear somebody else talk through it and be like, how do you get transformation in 60 minutes? Well, we are going to show you today. We just have a short clip from someone. It's only 11 minutes long and there is so much value in that 11 minutes. So imagine what that's even going to look like in 60 minutes. So we want you to meet Sarah Jones. She is the owner of Jonesy Art and she lives in Amsterdam. She's an American, but she's living overseas. Uh, She was an art teacher in the classroom for 13 years and just was like, just like Sarah and I kind of like we have to be done with this. Like it just wasn't totally relate. Yes. Yep. Very relatable. Um, She decided to leave the classroom and pursue the dream of doing art workshops and kind of creating life outside of school, but still teaching art in what she's passionate about. And she has been in business for just over a year, a year and a half, and it took off. And so that is so exciting for her. Sometimes that's not the case, but sometimes when you have business that just takes off, it kind of becomes this like ugly monster because it, it moves so quickly and you don't even know how to rein it back in. And so she was just feeling really overwhelmed with a lot of different things and then feeling some growing pains. And so we were able just to talk through um, some of this and talk to adjust her marketing, her offers, and trying to figure out how to make her schedule work for her. What you're going to hear in this clip, that's just a short clip, is how Lisa and I do this. And you know, to be quite honest, we do this really well because we love to ask people questions and to get people to think for themselves. A lot of coaches are going to have you come on a call. They're just going to tell you what to do. They're going to verbal vomit all of this information to you and then say, good luck, go and do it. And what Lisa and I do because we are teachers is we love to help you think about what you need to be doing because ultimately you are the CEO of your business and you know you just need some help sometimes uncovering that and having some encouragement to actually step out into that. And so you're going to hear in this call how we do that, how we ask questions, how we encourage you to think for yourself and to make those decisions for yourself because ultimately that what that's what helps you be empowered. And so we're going to talk about um, how to create a schedule that doesn't have her working six to seven days a week in her business as it's growing. We talk with her about creating new offers that are already within her sweet spot, but not purchasing a bunch of new supplies and, you know, creating all this new stuff, but how she can just tweak her offers to fit more of what her audience needs and also how to create some scarcity in her offers that actually attract more clients. And and I'm telling you, it's only 11 minutes and we get through all of that in that short period of time. So here is that clip with Sarah, myself, Sarah and Lisa. Well, I was just wondering like at what point, um, because I am, I'm working every single day, I'm doing either private art tutoring with a lot of clients or classes or, you know, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, at what point do I just say, I need to bring in somebody for marketing? I I'm feeling very stretched then. Um, and I'm having to prioritize every day. And a lot of things are just, a lot of things are getting pushed to the side because I'm physically in person right now, pretty much five to six times a week. Is there a way that you can streamline so you have one full day where you don't take any clients? Whatever day that might be, it might be a Thursday, it might be a uh, Wednesday, um, so that you can start lining up so that you have one one day that is off and that one day that you can do some marketing, but also get a break and a rest in there. So uh, oftentimes I think we tend to bow down to people because we think they're not going to pay if they are on your schedule, but you know, realizing your value and what you do and who you are, realize that like, nope, I'm not available that day. And that's okay because people can work around that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that is really, really hard to say early days. Yeah. I agree. Especially when you're like, I need need that money in the door and I need those clients. I, but I absolutely agree that boundaries need to be set. I think I've just spent last year being like the yes man. Yep. Yep. But I am worried about losing the, I mean, I I have a small loyal group, but I'm afraid about losing that, that loyal group while I'm trying to grow. So let's do it this way. Maybe you set a priority or a success marker or something to say any future clients you take, you won't take on this certain day. 
Okay. I can do that. So, I would yeah. say it's my one day that is very light right now. Okay. So maybe try um, to make that your day off and then say, I have you know, one what? hour with a client in the afternoon. Great. Okay. So let's keep with that. And when you, when you sign on anything in the future, you, you, you protect those Wednesdays really fiercely. Like you okay. don't, yeah. So you don't take any classes. You don't do any workshops. You don't do anything that day. And so that just gives you a little bit of a break and allows you to have some margin. Um, and, and, you know, you have to think of it too. It's like, you know, when we go to the doctor's office, they tell us when we can go, like we make it work, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, yeah, just making sure that you're prioritizing yourself and your health and your, and it's so hard. I know this is true for me. I did it for years where I took sessions whenever I could. And I started saying no. And you know what? Nobody balked at it. I thought they were going to, but they didn't. And so, you know, um, even that one you have on Wednesdays, maybe contact that person and say, Hey, is there any chance we could switch to Tuesdays? Like I, you know, I have an opening on Tuesdays and make it sound like an opportunity for them. I have an opening on Tuesdays at 10 AM. Does that work for you? It'd be so awesome. If we could, you know, or whatever, you know, it never hurts to ask and it never, you, you just never know, but that is something that I have had to work on really hard for myself because nights and weekends are when people are available and it's so hard like to protect. I know. Your- and that's the thing. I mean, I'm not going to be working with a kid during the afternoon. So basically my, you know, I mean, in the, during the day, right. Mm-hmm. So typically my day will start at like two or three and it will go until seven or eight o'clock at night. Cause that's mm-hmm. my, right. I have to work around everyone's school schedule and right. work schedule. Here's another thought for you. I don't know what the culture is like there in Amsterdam. So this might be something that's totally offbeat, but is there a chance you can talk to homeschool parents who live there? Maybe they're Americans who are living there and they're homeschooling and you can start doing some during the day kind of things. If that's what you want, or you start building a homeschool co-op program you you speak specifically to homeschool parents on Mondays is your homeschool day. And you, you, ha- you host the class, you know, that day or whatever, if you can tap into that a little bit too, that's a whole new market. And it's a lot of people are, I don't know about how things are there, but in America, homeschooling is like skyrocketing and I they don't know. have art crazy. and they don't have art and they, the parents don't have art training. And so then, you know, you're really filling a need for that gap in there. If I could do something like that online, I would go full force into that. I, I don't think I would be doing able to do more stuff in person at this point. Um, but like online as well, I had uh, somebody over the summer, I was meeting with the two girls every week um, and they were um, in Canada, right? So the summertime is great too, because kids can get up at any time. Parents love getting their kids up really early <laughs> and having them do this because it gets them out of bed, right? Yeah. Uh, working on activities. So um so maybe put that on the list for the future. Maybe that's just something to think about when you have more margin or when you really yeah. need to ramp things up or over Christmas yeah. break, maybe you do a little two week art fun thing. I mean, you could even record them. You could do a course, you know, there's a lot of options for you of what you can do that you no. don't have to be live, you know, and it, it takes a lot of more brain work, a lot more brain power. I get that. So right now I think what you're doing is great. But I think maybe you want to write down a list of things of like, how can I generate revenue in the future? And what does that look like? I mean, do you think it's okay now? So, okay. Over three students in the space is I'm going to make some money. Right. So, I mean, I'm not, it's not bad. I just think that I was really expecting that there was going to be at least 10 kids in the other, cause that's when I'm like really making some, you know, we're making some like bread here, you mm-hmm. know? Do you use any scarcity in your marketing that there's only 10 spots available? I was thinking that too. You have to paint the picture for them of why they want to sign up right now and why this is exclusive. There's only 10 spots available. And when 10, when the 10 spots are gone, that's it for this time. So sign up now, you know, you, you have to create that urgency for them and the real need why this is the only time I'm going to teach this, you know, superheroes drawing class. It's the only time I'm going to do it, you know, like, but what if I do that and then nobody signs up? They will. Uh, Well, you'll learn, you learn what, you know, is going to work and what's going to sell. And that was the other thing I was going to say is if you have this loyal list of people, I would be doing some surveys 
and asking some questions about what they actually want, what days they want it and what their kids want. And if they fill it out, they go in a drawing for a free class or something. But I would start using this audience even more that you have to do some of this brain work for you. Mm -hmm. Cause you're coming up with all of it on your own, all the stories, all the marketing, all of that. But if you used some real strategic surveys and asked some really pointed questions in there, they'll tell you what they want. And then you're not guessing. And then you're not wondering if they're going to sign up or not. Yeah. I think my fear, and I think that totally makes sense. I think in some, I'm a little bit afraid to ask that in some regards, because I am afraid that some of these parents are going to say, my kid really wants to do these artsy, fartsy, whatever things. And if that is the case and all of these kids really want to do craft workshops from here on out, then I need to pivot and switch into something entirely different. So maybe you frame the question for what you want to hear. What would your kid most like to draw? You know, you really narrow it in and you don't ask them, what art project do you want to do? What would your kid love to draw? Do they, are they more interested in cartoons or caricatures? Or are they more interested in like shapes and base? Do they want to draw animals? Do they want to draw, you know, like, so then you can ask specifically what they want to draw. And then it's like, hey, this session, we're learning to draw animals. The next session, we're going to learn to do holiday things. The next session, we're going to do, okay, um, I like that. We're going to do cartoons. And so each session is different. So it, it, it taps into the difference of the kid and maybe your kid's not really interested in animals, but oh man, they love superheroes. And then maybe, or it's like, oh, you know what? We're going to do like paper dolls, paper draw doll drawings and like learn how to draw little girl, you know? And, and, and yeah. so, and then you, you know, you're really specific in it and then they're, they're clamoring for it, you know? Cause it's like, oh my gosh, my kid would be, if you taught him how to draw superheroes or do a comic book, he would be like, yes, I'm totally in for that. You know? So if you can do some really specific, but you're still keeping in your niche of drawing and you're still, you know, you're, all you have is the pencils and the paper and, you know, you're not having to buy all this stuff. Um, then it, then it, you know, makes it more fun, but it's also still keeping within your, within your stuff. I mean, you could probably come up with a hundred things that you landscapes, you know, his superheroes, uh, paper doll, like I said, paper dolls or animals, or, you know, there's so many different genres within drawing that you could do that would make it so right. fun. I think too, the other thing is that, um, sport, like at this age with the older kids, with the sports, it is, it's really out of control. Yep. Um, they are, um, even my stepson as well. Like he's on Monday and Wednesday, he's doing training on Saturday. He's doing games. These kids are doing multiple activities on top of that. So I need to expect that every semester could potentially change. I'm not always going to have the same kids all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you're offering different stuff, they're going to be excited about it and be like, oh, I'm going to skip doing football this year because I want to learn how to do, I want to learn how to do this, draw this certain thing or make my own comic book or whatever. And so you really make it fun each time. And maybe, yeah, by asking that survey, what do they want to draw? What would cause them to skip? some of the other things. I mean, and, I could even ask the kids directly when they're in front of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you want to draw today? Yeah. And tapping into like, you know, um, maybe this is something that is like, it's, it creatively engages their mind and gives them a little bit of a break from all of that other stuff that they're doing, you know, of like, you've, yeah, you've got absolutely. sports and music and all this stuff. And it's like sitting down and drawing is so relaxing. Yeah, absolutely. It really is, it's therapeutic. You know, you start using some of those things and it, the parents are going to be like, oh, my kid needs that. They just need a break. They don't need just one more activity. Mm-hmm. They need to know why that activity is going to help their kid and solve their problem of their kid is overstimulated or their kid is too busy or whatever. Yeah, like, exactly. no, for, for an hour a week, they just get to come and just like, relax and enjoy and learn something different and it's not super high pressure and there's no competitive edge and you know it's all that kind of stuff can you guys hear how much we got through in such a short amount of time and how it you, what you didn't hear at the end of that clip is that we talked through some action steps with her as to how to really do those things and do them well so that she wasn't just left hanging with 60 minutes worth of mind blowing content <laughs> that she really was. We were able to break it down for her and to be able to help her take the next steps to really 
do what she wants to do that she talked about. I think at the end, she felt like she had a clear path forward to move in, um, to offer drawing and be really confident in that. And she figured out how to plan a schedule way in advance and offer different classes that would get people to come back or continue instead of just offering the same ones. We also always follow up with our people afterwards and within a week. So she, we, we send them like a thank you. How did you feel? You know, we send them a little survey and a little review kind of thing. And within that week, she said, Oh my gosh, I've th- I've landed three new clients within our within the last week of getting on that call. And she said, I just got so much value and clarity in just 60 minutes. And that was just huge for us to be able to hear that, but also for her to get three new clients in a week when she'd been struggling and feeling like, oh, I don't know what to do and I can't keep people to commit and I can't people get people to like follow up on emails. And she was really struggling with all that stuff. And so that was so encouraging for us to hear. But more than anything, we were just sitting back and cheering loudly because we were so excited for her. The other thing that we love to do is a month or two after your call, we also like to follow up because the value isn't just in the 60 minute call. It's in the action plan that we give you at the end for you to follow. And so we followed up with Sarah. And within two months of her doing this, just a 60 minute call with us, she learned some big things that she shared with us. One, she realized that she needed to hire a VA to do her social media because it just wasn't working for her. It wasn't what she loved to do. And so she was able to hire someone that was going to be able to push out content for her and she could focus on growing her business and her relationship with her clients. Um, and, and she, she acknowledged that that anxiety of doing social media was really causing her some challenges and some imposter syndrome. I mean, raise your hand. We've all been there in that situation Hand up. and she realized it was just a time suck and it was taking her away from her family and what she really wanted to be doing. Um, She also had a kind of a realization after talking with us and after working through the action plan that she needed to have a close date for her registration. I think a lot of times we think, oh, I want to leave the cart open all the time. I want people to come in all the time. I mean, that's a common belief that we have in our business, but which she realized was she needed to actually create some urgency for people and have that registration um, close for her. And she also learned that, you know, even though she might want 10 people in her classes or 13 people in her classes, that having five might be just the right number for right now in her business. And that offering the right content to the right people is better than having lots of people in the class that might not be a right fit. Um, And then a couple other big wins that she shared with us um, from doing a call with us is that she is going to be working on designing classes where she can actually reuse content week after week and not constantly reinventing the wheel, which I think is such a big lesson. I'm learning that too. I love to create content, but sometimes it just becomes a hamster wheel and we just can't get off of it. And so she learned that. And then my most favorite thing that she said is that she just went on a vacation where she didn't do any work and that never would have happened a year ago and before talking to us. And so I love that. Um, We all need a rest and and respite from our our business. And so I'm so glad that that was one of her big takeaways that she had. So this all to say, we love doing these empowerment calls, but we have found that as much content as we can get in 60 minutes, we love to help people get even further down the road. And so we are really excited to share that we are offering something new and exciting, and it is a three-month coaching package. We're calling it the three-month power punch because we really want to see see you and help you see that in three months, you can really make a huge difference in your business. It doesn't have to be this year-long commitment. It doesn't have to be this huge thing that in 90 days, you can really move yourself forward and make some really important things happen in your business. And that is where Sarah and I operate. That's our sweet spot too. And so we really want to come alongside you and support you and share with you that we want to help you in the next three months. If you're ready to knock your ideal client socks off and step out in confidence at the top of your industry and then also get some help fighting through those roadblocks that you're facing, much like Sarah was talking about today, and actually love the business you're building. You know, get back to your family time and that freedom that you were looking for when you started your business. Then we want to invite you to join us for this new three-month power punch in your business. Because now, right now, at the start of the year in January, when you're just fresh and getting back into your business, this is a great time to invest in your business 
for 2024. And one of the most beautiful things and things that makes us different than a lot of other coaching programs out there is that you get two of us and you get two different perspectives and you get two different business minds and you get two different ways of thinking about things. And so that is something that we're really excited about too. And that a lot of coaching problems don't have that. And you have your one coach who says you should do it this way. Whereas Sarah and I are like, have you thought about it like this? And she says, well, I like to do it like this. And then you get to decide and be empowered about what works for your business. The other thing that we do that's very different from anything else that I've seen in this industry of coaching for business is that we are going to work with you to give you a strategic action plan to follow that's customized for you. Lisa and I are teachers. This is what we did for years as teachers is we work with people individually so that you get a plan for your business that's going to work for you, not just a one size fits all plan that, you know, is this is just what we sell and this is what we offer. We want to get to know you and be in relationship with you, ask you questions, dig into your business in a very specific way so that we can help you come up with an action plan and a roadmap to follow even after you're done working with us after that three months because there can be value from us even longer term than just the three months that you're with us in this power punch. And one of the ways that I do that is I help you figure out your value. I've helped you figure out, clarify your marketing and your messaging, help you figure out social media cadence, developing plans, looking at your statistics, building your confidence and your pricing and your offer and knowing what you have to to offer is really valuable and changing your offer, getting crystal clear on your branding, your visual, your photos, but not just that, but how to stand out in the market, how to stand out in your industry, how to maximize your time with your with your systems and your workflows and making sure that you have templates and all sorts of th- things so that you're not constantly in your business. You can work on your business, not as much in your business. So that's my sweet spot. And I love to help you get very clear on what your business mission, vision, and values are so that you can attract your right ideal client. So much of us are unclear on these things. And so we're attracting people into our business, but they're not the right people. And that just is a time suck and an energy suck when you don't have the right people in your business. I also love to help people be sure that their personal skills that they already have, their God-given skills and abilities align with the type of business that you're building. All too often, we're listening to all of those gurus out there. I listened to a podcaster and she, she encourages us not to just collect gurus but to be sure that we're listening to the right people in our lives and in our business. And so how do you take what God has given you and turn it into a business that works for you? The other thing that I love to help people do because it has so much value for you and can earn you so much more money is by creating a unique signature framework that you can use in your business. And then you work with Lisa to create a social media cadence because you've got all this content from your framework that you're using and other people will pay top dollar for that because you have something that's unique to you and your business. And ideally, all of these things that we love to help you do in your business is really getting you to be the CEO of your business and take charge of it and own it and really step fully into it in just three months. And we really can help you do that in just 90 days. So this three-month power package is three months of Voxer access with both Sarah and I, which Voxer is like a walkie-talkie app where you can just talk and check in with each other. You can hear voice inflection because so often with emails and and texts, and all that stuff, you just don't quite get the emotion behind it. And so you really get to hear our voices here and we get to hear you and your frustration and and your wins and your excitement and all that kind of stuff. So you get three months of Voxer access with both of us. You get two experts for the price of one. You get three 60 minute empowerment calls. So like we just did with Sarah and you guys just heard in, in, in this clip, you get three of those, one each month so that we help you get on track and we help you come up with a strategic plan and all that stuff. And it's customized for for you to help you really move forward in your business. So if there's something you've been wanting to do or something that you're frustrated by or that some a pivot you want to make in your business, this is the perfect opportunity to hop on with a low, low commitment and just really power punch through the next three months. A lot of times coaching programs are for six months, 12 months, and that's great because that is a great long-term relationship you can get with people. But we want to shorten that time so that you really push through and maximize the impact in a shorter period of time and get the results 
faster because I have found personally that when I have six months, then whatever I'm working on takes six months yep. to do. And so we want to to shorten that timeline and kind of push you in that to take action in that three months. And this new offer that we have, this three month power punch is on sale right now for a very limited time. And the truth of the matter is because we form such a strong relationship with you and dig so deeply into your business, we only take three clients at a time because we want to do this really, really well. So check out the link with all of the info in our show notes and join us for this exclusive one-to-one three-month coaching offer that we have for you. We want to celebrate you. We want to help you move forward. And we want to be the ones who are helping you figure out what you need in your business, not us telling you what you need in your business. Amen to that. Have a great week. Thanks for joining us for today's Power Packed episode. We hope you're feeling empowered to make the decisions to build your business your way with God by your side. If this podcast has given you the boost you needed, be sure to leave a review and spread the love by sharing it with your fellow biz besties. 